Hey guys, this is Tim from Lateral G here and introducing you to the new Miller Multimatic 215. This is a new welder from Miller and what's really neat about this welder is that it's a MIG welder, a TIG welder, and a stick welder all built into one. So no matter what you're doing, if you're out on the farm welding up a fence and just need a basic stick weld, you can do that. If you're working on something like this here in the background and you need to TIG something up or MIG it, no problem. Whatever you can throw at it, this thing can handle it. And what's really neat about it is it's an extremely compact unit. The whole thing only weighs 38 pounds, so you can you know pick this thing up with one hand, no problem. And it's wired with 220, or you can swap out the plug and do 120. I mean, whatever you're working with, it can work with you. And I wanted to show you guys this a little bit and show you some of the on-screen settings, so stay tuned. All right, guys, so what I wanted to show you here was how to actually set up this unit, and it's really simple. Miller has made this almost foolproof, as foolproof as it can be. So you'll see that um, in the middle here is a bright readout screen and two knobs, right? So let's turn on the unit. First thing you'll notice, no fan noise. This unit's smart enough to know when it needs a cooling fan and when it doesn't. So it just helps you to save a little bit more electricity and just makes it quieter and easier to work in your unit, in your house. So right here it's giving us a little error feed uh, because we, aren't, we don't have our MIG set up properly. But all you do is you go through here and there's flux cord, MIG steel, MIG, MIG, sorry, MIG stainless, MIG steel 25% mixture, MIG steel 100% argon, making aluminum, tigging, and uh, the stick settings. So what you do is it's pretty simple. You can do a, uh, you pick which, which setting you're going to use. So let's say MIG 25%. Mild steel tells you which mixture to use on your gas. Tells you how to hook it up properly with the different ports here. And then all you have to do is you can do this auto set. So you tell it what thickness your wire is and what thickness the material is you're welding. So I'll show you here, and you, as you can see, it's changing the voltage and the wire feed speed automatically. Now you can still go in here and fine tune that if you know something might not be to your liking. It's not, it's not an issue, but I mean, it's that simple. You know, no matter what you're doing, you really don't need anything else besides this little unit. So when we ordered up our new Miller welder, we also ordered up a new Miller plasma cutter. This is the 625 Spectrum Extreme plasma cutter. This thing is really cool. I mean, it comes in its own case. The whole thing weighs about 35 pounds. It's really versatile, easy to throw in the back of your truck, take it where you need it, cut your metal, and come back home. So I just wanted to show it to you a little bit. And you can see that this is the torch, just a basic setup if you've ever used a plasma before. If you haven't, it almost looks like a MIG torch, but it's not. Um, what's another neat feature is that this thing comes with Two different adapters so there's one for 220 or one for 110 just depending on how your wiring is and this allows it to really be used just about anywhere you can imagine a ground cable and before I get to that they also include down here in the bottom is a little box of consumables so this is the different tips you need depending on you know, your amperage and what you're doing, or just to replace. Um, I can't get that open right now. Oh, there we go. But, um, you know, it's just nice to have these little pieces, and you can add more in here if you need. But this is where the magic happens right here. This is the actual Spectrum 625 Extreme. As you can see, this thing's about the size of a shoebox. Really pretty easy to use, lightweight. Um, it doesn't get much simpler than this. The only real adjustments are this knob up here in the front. And all it is, is depending on how you have it wired up, dictates how thick of metal you can cut. So if you have the 220 plugged in with this on that set, you know, the 220 setting, you can cut up to 5 8 inch thick steel. And that's pretty neat for such a small unit. Really lightweight. Um, we can't wait to use this. One. So last but certainly not least is safety equipment. We all know we need it and we use it every day. So what we picked up from Miller was a welding jacket here 
and a really nice piece, it's super comfortable. We were kind of testing it out around the house. Um, it's nice that it has a Velcro collar so that way no sparks are going down your shirt. The cuffs are adjustable to where you can have them inside your gloves or outside your gloves, kind of depending on your preference there. Really comfortable, easy to wear, has some nice pockets. Um, the gloves themselves are actually TIG welding gloves, which we picked because we figured we're going to be TIG welding, we're going to be MIG welding, we're going to be stick welding with this. And so we figured this would be the best all around glove. It's leather, has padded palms, really comfortable. They're not super bulky to where you can't grab a pencil if you need to mark something or anything like that. Um, these are going to be really nice. The last part here is probably one of the most important is your helmet. So this is the Digital Infinity Black Ops Edition and it's digital, it has a huge viewing area with four different sensors, so no matter where you're at, it's going to pick it up and be able to darken the lens for you automatically. So it actually has four different modes that you can all set in here, and those are weld, cut, grind, and X mode. Okay, now the first one, weld, it's simple. You know, you're welding. Got it. Then you have your cutting. So if you're plasma cutting, you know, then it, it'll, it'll darken for that setting. Um, grinding, you know, obviously if you're grinding something. The last one's X mode, and that one was new to us. So what the X mode is, is it's the electromagnetic arc tracking technology is what the official term is. And what it does is if you're outside or if you're in a cavity, something like that, it'll pick up the welding and it'll darken it for you as well. So kind of no matter what style of welding you're doing, this helmet's going to work perfect. And what's also great about it is we like to keep our stuff nice and tidy. It comes with a bag so that it won't scratch up the lens. It'll keep it nice and clean. And it comes with five extra lenses included. So that way if you're grinding, or, you know, sparks are flying and something happens to the lens, you can pop a new one in and keep on welding.